A double dip recession is when two recessions occur in a relatively short period of time. The economy dips into a recession and quickly recovers, only to dip into another recession, hence the name double dip. A recession is defined as a significant decline in economic activity lasting several months. You can detect a recession by looking at the changes in certain economic factors, such as GDP, employment, and retail sales. If you plot this data onto a graph and the resulting graph appears W-shaped, then the economy likely went through a double-dip recession. For example, the U.S. economy experienced a double-dip recession during the early 1980s. Between January 1980 and July 1980, employment dropped and GDP growth slowed down. Shortly afterwards, the economy began to recover, but quickly fell into another recession just one year later, starting in July 1981 and ending in November 1982. If the percentage change in GDP between those dates is graphed, you will see a pronounced W-shape outlining the double-dip recession. A double-dip recession can be caused by many different factors. The second dip usually indicates that the economy had recovered from the first dip too quickly and is still in a correction mode. If the government has been Propping up the economy through stimulus spending and low interest rates, then the end of the stimulus money or the resulting inflation can push the economy back down again into a second dip. Similarly, if the economy is recovering slowly but taxes are raised too aggressively, then people will likely spend less and choke off the recovery. Nobody likes tough economic times. However, these recessions have also been some of the best opportunities for clever investors to load up on undervalued stock.